Hey everyone, welcome back to my planner. This Obviously we're doing the October monthly today and I realize this is going up a little bit after October has already started but it's too dang cute not to share. So this is my September how it turned out. I'm using a kit from the same shop, Soda Pop Studio Shop. I did show this sticker set last time because I was explaining how I swapped some stickers between the two sets. Anyhow, so yeah, that sticker would be different, and so would the stripey full box on the other sheet. Um, I really love this kit. I love that it's not creepy. It's just kind of cutesy, and then uh, that it has like bright colors, and it's not real, real dark, because um, Halloween kits tend to be. Um, this kit is really cute that it comes with kind of like your your markers for holidays of the month, but also a couple of things like costume shopping and stuff. I really love the date covers. They're little candy corns, and it's kind of hard to tell of the back, uh, the white background, but um, that combined with all of the cute icons for the bills and stuff, and it was like sold. So yeah, um, I did uh, decide to pull in this kit of stickers that I got from Walmart for 97 cents. Uh, excuse me, my nose is a little stuffy, so I sound weird. Um, but anyway, it fits perfectly with this kit, with the jack lanterns and everything. And here's the fun part. They are scented stickers. They smell like bubble gum. So when you scratch them, if you could smell it right now, you would see that that smells like bubble gum. And by the time this video is over, my hands smelled like bubble gum. It was great. So I am pulling in a couple more options for myself just in case I need them. This is, or that first was a little freebie that came with the kit from Soda Pop Studio. This is from Crafts by Dora Leah. Um, I might be saying that wrong. Um, um, anyhow, this was given to me at the planner meetup I went to on my birthday. Um, so that was really cool. I'm definitely going to be checking her shop out for sure. These are the washies I'm looking to use because they kind of mat match with the kit slash the theme of like candy everywhere and stuff. Um, and then the jack-o'-lanterns, of course. But this one is like the best one for this kit. It's perfect. It has all the things all the things people and then I have a couple of like dollar spot from this year those are all from last year by the way um, a couple of dollar spot washies from this year that I just kind of left on my desk in case I decided to pull them in and so I thought I would kind of show off the glitteriness of them all uh, except for that one that was marbled which is super cute but not really right for this spread so I didn't end up using it uh, anyway I have a list a mile long and then all my paper mate flares because they match the colors and that's where I like to use them is in the monthly spread because usually um, if there's any show through I can kind of hide it on the other sides of the pages and then that was just my ink joy gel because you yeah, know live by ink joy gel it's the best anyway I even have my husband hooked on those they're amazing so now I am recalling that these stickers are matte removable and trying to kind of do a better job of placing them because if you watch my September video I had crap out of placing that top header so this one is designed or formatted for the new monthly layouts in the new planner, but as you can see, I'm using the old one. So it does hang over a bit, and it's a bit bigger, uh, but otherwise, it's perfect. Um, and like I said, they are on matte removable, so if you do have a hard time laying down the full-size stickers like I do, it's great because you can just pick it right back up and put it right back down where it goes. So that one went down way better than the other one. I think it's just because I'm left-handed and the coil was kind of like less in the way. I don't I don't have a clue. Anyway, so obviously at the top this uh, month there's a ton of leftover days from September and there aren't quite as many um, block out or whatever full box stickers as necessary to cover all of those. So I am going to have to use washi but first I wanted to go ahead and place all of the amazing full box stickers that came in the kit and that is by far my favorite one but it does match the header on the other side so I put the furthest away from that one to kind of like drag them apart and then that oh my gosh the cute little jack-o'-lanterns like even the angry creepy one is still cute so um yeah and I just kind of decided to do every other box as one of the like fun patterns as opposed to the stripey patterns um just to kind of mix and match it up that kind of thing and then on this side, I have to figure out what I'm going to do to fill it in. So I did pull out my fun washi that's like the best one for this kit ever. And this one is from the Dollar Tree. And so it's not the greatest of quality. It is a little bit misprinted. If you can tell, the, the little icon or little characters are pretty close to the bottom of the tape. And it hasn't been that way through the whole roll. 
um, but it is right now. So probably on the end of the roll, it'll be different. So I ended up moving that to the bottom because I'm going to end up covering up the top of the tape anyway, so it doesn't really matter. And then I really love this tape. The spooky, happy purple tape is also from the Dollar Tree, and that one has a little bit more of an even cut, so I put it on the top. And then this bat tape came from the Dollar Spot at Target. It's from this year. The other two are from last year. And it's just absolutely perfect to fill in the space between um, because the bats, for the most part, fit right in that white spot and just kind of like their tails and heads go over the other tape, and so it's not a big deal. Um, this tape does have a backing, and it's it's very thin, so I'm not quite sure if you could tear it like you do regular washi, but I just used, as far as like the tape itself, obviously you can't tear the backing with um, a ruler like you would regular washi, but anyway, I use scissors. So now I'm just going in and deciding if I wanted to use any of this kind of spider and skull washi and I was like oh, I could put it here but then I was like you know what I'm getting too ahead of myself I have a ton of deco to use so I really love how those two boxes turned out it kind of is just super cute the way that the bats kind of just perfectly fit in the middle there so now we're going to actually get into the planning part of things and I tried to do this video without being sped up and like a voiceover so I'm talking the whole time so if things seem delayed I will start cutting them out if it gets too like long but anyhow um, I did pull in several of the pins for this month because of all the different fun colors I knew I wanted to be able to utilize the different options that I had because the pins match perfectly. Um, as far as the colors go. So um, obviously I'm showing you where I took the icon for house and the icon for water because both of those are due on the first and that will be the first thing that I plan this week. And then I'm attempting to do, I've seen this done on other channels where you write on the sticker while it's still on the sticker sheet um, because I have terrible handwriting and if there's anything to help that be better than great. So yeah, I um, just wrote down rent and water, and uh, again, if you're annoyed with the fact that I'm not filling this out at the end, I'm sorry, um, but the reason is because if I put all of my stickers down, <laughs> in the monthly view at least, if I put all of my stickers down and don't write down what it's actually for while I'm doing it, I'll totally forget and have to, it's like planning all over again when I go to write, so I might as well just do it all at once. So yeah, I'm just placing the cell phone icon sticker down as well as the cell phone bill sticker. And again, um, if you saw my last month view, you'll see that for some reason when I bought these kits, I thought I only tracked six bills per month, but apparently it's seven. Um, so I end up having to pull in one of the scallop icons from the other page, even though that wasn't my intention to begin with, but it totally works because I do have one bill that's kind of like the oddball because it's an auto draft, so it works. Uh, there I just put down one of the page flags and I put it down sideways and wrote subs on it because that was when my Ipsy and my Ohello Stationery Co. subscriptions both came out of my bank. Um, those technically, I guess, are auto as well. Um, but anyhow, moving right along. On the 7th is Chris's Payday, and this kit conveniently comes with two Payday stickers, and I only track Chris's Paydays because my stuff is just really like whenever I get around to dealing with it kind of thing. Uh, it's complicated. Um, anyhow, that is the Columbus Day sticker. I'm not a huge fan of Columbus Day. I mean, you can like Columbus if you want to, but I think it's kind of silly that we celebrate a dude who showed up in the Caribbean and wasn't even the first person to find our side of the world uh, but anyway so and plus he was kind of like not kind of he was a major jerk so I don't know why we celebrate Columbus Day but whatever <clears throat> anyway moving right along that is the TV and internet icon stickers on top of my internet bill sticker because I don't have cable but when I watch TV so like Netflix or whatever it is on the internet so <laughs> random. Anyway, um, on the weekend of the 15th and the 16th, there is a like 99% chance that we will be traveling to my hometown. Um, and so I'm putting down the pumpkin washi because the little dancing pumpkins, oh, they look like they're dancing to me. Anyway, here I'm kind of trimming it off because it went over the line a bit when I ripped it. So I'm just using the tip of my scissors as kind of like an exacto knife. Um, Anyway, we're traveling that weekend to my hometown because there is kind of like a reunion of my friend group, if you will. Um, a lot of us that hung out together in high school were not in the same class. Like my husband is actually four years younger than me, technically. Um, he was a freshman when I was a senior. So there is a range of people. So when we go to a, like a class reunion, 
our friends aren't all there. So we're trying to kind of do like a our friend group reunion kind of thing because you know how it is when you graduate from high school and everybody starts moving away, you kind of lose touch and that sort of thing. So we thought it would be fun to do that. But regardless, we're going to go see family anyway. Um, we haven't been home in a while, like with Chris and I both, because I've gone by myself a couple of times, but he works a lot and it just happens to be a weekend when he doesn't have a gig. So yay. And then I remembered we we're probably going to leave on the 14th. So I added three more pumpkins because somehow or another, it's just perfect that three pumpkins fit on each day. So yeah, um, because <clears throat> there is a, a little car icon that I'll end up adding later, um, but I'll show you later. But anyhow, so now moving on to adding in a credit card bill that I have due. Um, and so I used one of the cute credit card stickers and put that down on the 16th. Or, and I was really excited that like there was plenty of room for it with the washi tape. So that made everything like it just, <sighs> I'm really satisfied with how this kit ends up laying out in my planner. So um, then on the 18th, I have another credit card bill due because, you know, girl likes to shop. No, just kidding. These are totally not girl likes to shop kind of credit cards. Well, I guess Old Navy is, but whatever. Um, anyway, moving right along, I'm using one of the half flags or half flags, page flags, whatever. Um, and that one has stars on it, but they're very faint. But I realized it was going to be right next to another yellow sticker. So I decided to switch for this green one. And I wanted to mark down something else that it's like a thing that Chris and I have that comes into our bank account. So I like to make sure that I mark it um, anyway on the 18th. And now I have my brother's birthdays. And I love that this sticker kit is basically like desserts, but scary. I don't know. So there's a ton of different options for cupcakes to use for their birthdays. And I decided to pull some of the stickers from the back of the planner because I have a ton of them left over because I rarely use them. And these two orange ones are great. And I ended up, because you know they're sized for the size of the vertical boxes or the width of the vertical boxes, so I ended up putting it all the way to the right so that I could put the cupcake over that little asterisk. Excuse me, I have to take a drink of water there. So here I'm just debating what cupcakes to use and admiring all the different options. But I really wanted two that were very similar, and these were the only two that were very similar. Um, and so, yeah, they're kind of giant, but whatever. I can trim that, you know? So anyway, I have two older brothers. Um, one is 10 years older than me, and one is 11 years older than me, and so every time they have a birthday, if I'm feeling bad about how old I turned on my birthday in September, then their birthday makes me feel better. <laughs> so, yeah, um, and it's really cool because they're, um, like, really close to each other, and anyway, they were basically, like, joined at the hip their whole life, so it's really cool. They're, it's great. One lives in Maryland now, so we don't really get to see him as much as I'd love to, but such is life. We all move away. I live four hours from home, so whatever. Um, <laughs> um, then on the, let's see here, on the 24th, I put down the scallop label because that is the auto pay and then put down the payday sticker because we also have a payday that day. And then this cute little icon, I think it's for a car note because if you look at it close enough, you see a little tiny car on there, but I use it for taxes because like it's the best one for taxes and we pay those every month. So, yeah. Um, and then I saw that there are cute little balloon stickers for marking birthdays. So I added those in on my brother's birthdays and then and had to rewrite the in there for Steven because the orange balloon covered it up. Yeah. Anyway. <coughs> excuse me. Sorry to anyone wearing headphones. Um, yeah, so I put down the light bulb sticker for my electric bill. And I'm going to just place that down on the 25th because everything happens on this bottom left corner. And I know everybody's been complaining all of the videos I've seen. Oh, look, wait, hold on, back up. You see what I wrote there? I wrote internet because, like, I was in the zone whenever I was talking because, like I said, I didn't want this to be a voiceover. But anyway, so I used whiteout because the square was already kind of whited out in the middle or whatever the box that I'm writing in. Um, and it's not super noticeable now, but it made me really sad at the time. So anyway, so I had to go back in and write in electric and put that down. And I know that a lot of people are having trouble with the fact that the 31st is so tiny, um, and everybody wants to decorate for Halloween. <laughs> 
So I was prepared ahead of time because I like to watch my planner videos because like you do. And so I knew that I was going to have to think of something really cute for that. On the 27th is Willow's one year and eight month birthday type celebration. Um, the reason we celebrate every month, especially now, is just because hedgehogs live to be about six years old. And so every month is like a new year in her life. <laughs> so she's like 18 now. Oh, my little girl's all grown up. No, but anyway, um, she's a mess, so I always like to acknowledge it and do something special for her on that day. Um, hedgehogs are kind of quiet little homebodies, but she gets to go outside if it's the temperature's right, because they're very picky about their temperature, um, with, seriously. And so, yeah, anyway, I put another cupcake down as well as the other set of balloons, just because I'm like, whatever, why not? And writing it in one year and eight months. So, oh, and that's one of the page flags from the kit that I put in sideways. And then um, I feel like I should mention, again, the little hedgehog is from Oh Hello Stationery Co., but it is a custom sticker that I had made or that Alex was kind enough to make me. Either Alex or Kayla. I'm honestly not sure because it was long enough ago when I got it that it could have been Kayla who did it. Who knows? Anyway, um, that page flag there was just to acknowledge that my mom will be arriving on the 29th because on the 30th and 31st, we're going camping and I'm so excited. However, as you can tell, whenever I like to travel, I put down some washi. But, oh, geez. Sorry, the light got crazy for a second. Um, anyhow, I like to put down washi, but there's really not, unless I used a thin washi, it just wouldn't work. So I decided to try to use little pieces of candy. Um, so I'm going to fill that in where we're traveling um, with candy, but we're going to a place called Enchanted Rock, and I'm going to put down the Halloween sticker first, and it fits sort of. <laughs> That's why I wait until the end to put down my date covers, because if there's a sticker that covers up a little bit of the spot where the date cover would be, the date cover comes back and says, no, it is the date. It is more important than you sticker. Yeah. Anyway. So here I'm just putting down the candies to kind of mark like you would with washi tape. Um, but we're going to Enchanted Rock and my mom and my little brother and Chris and I are all going to go camping and climb the rock. And it's this Greek batholith. And I'm not saying basilisk, basilisk, whatever. I can't. It's <laughs> Basilisk is from Harry Potter. It's the crazy snake, you know. And so everybody, when I say batholith, thinks I'm saying basilisk wrong. But it's a thing. And it's huge. It's a giant dome. So we're going and we're going to end up climbing that. And it's a dark sky location. Plus, it's going to be a new moon. So we're going to have amazing stargazing. And it's going to be cool enough finally because it's Texas. So it'll probably be like the 80s at the end of October for the high. So I'm super excited to go camping. Like we haven't gone. I haven't been camping in so long. Like real camping, not glamping. But anyhow, so I decided to put a couple of the candy corns down because I didn't have enough of the elongated little wrapped candy stickers to put down. And it turned out pretty good. Um, and then I was like, wait, I didn't put down the sticker to mark camping. I wanted to use this scallop label for that. So I just kind of lifted those up and put the camping sticker label down. And then... Um, put them back down on, on top of that. So that whole weekend corner area is just jam packed full of fun. <laughs> and then I ended up using the green pen, um, because, uh, hello, camping, nature, green, duh. So yeah, not that you really care what color I used, but it had logic. There was logic behind it for me. So sorry, a lot of that was off, out of, out of the screen, out of, the frame, that's the word, um, but for some reason I just didn't even think about making sure it was in frame. Uh, here I am putting down one of the flags sideways again so that I could put that we are leaving for Jacksonville and I put the little car next to it because it is more of a road trip than the other trip is because camping is only two hours away. My mom's house is four hours away. And here I'm just putting down the end of the trip um, home flag on the end of Sunday because that's when we will be heading back um, and there I was just kind of showing you what was left on both of those pages um, just the the deco and um, I kind of don't think I'm going to end up using like 
the costume shopping sticker since we'll be camping for Halloween. Um, but I did decide to take the one that says Halloween party um, and cut it so that it turned into kind of a flag and put that on the 15th since that is the day we would be having our reunion thing get together. That's also a full moon. That's going to be a crazy night because my friends are nuts, dude. Anyhow, moving right along. Um, I kind of like how that turned out, actually. Um, moving on to the, uh, oh, sorry. I have this Halloween sticker left over, and I'm probably going to save that so I could use it in another spot just because it's cute and it's script, and so it's possible that it would save me from having to use my terrible handwriting in the future. So now I'm moving on to my sidebar, and I'm going to go ahead and speed that up because it's basically a monotonous process, and I will be back. Okay, so now that the sidebar is done, I ended up using some stickers from Stickabilities, the letter stickers, um, to mark my bills um, because it was just cuter than trying to write on that sticker with a Sharpie, especially since it's textured because of the scratch and sniff, you know, portion of it. <laughs> so I just stuck stickers on top. Anyway, and then I kind of decorated the bottom after writing in all the different bills. I do like to track my bills. Once I'm done with the video, I'll write down like the date they're due and how much it is, that kind of thing. Um, so now I'm just going to use my handy dandy tweezers and place all of the date dots and start a little bit of the deco. Okay, so the camera's going to be shaky, guys. I ended up, my camera died in the middle of decorating. Um, this is what the spread has turned out like. I added a ton of the bubblegum scented stickers. The spooky sticker that's coming out of the little jack-o'-lantern's mouth is from a Doris sticker set. Um, and then I just threw in a couple of little spots with that creepy, sparkly skull and spider washi tape to kind of fill in a few places. And then, like... I love how I ended up putting the little candy in the O's on October. I really think that turned out cute. Um, but yeah, like I said, after I ended up putting down all of the deco, my, <laughs> while I was doing it, my camera died, first of all. And secondly, my hands now smell like bubble gum. It's hilarious. Um, my planner is going to smell like bubble gum the whole month. And I'm pretty sure that eventually it'll wear off. So it's not like it'll do that all year. So here's just a little bit of close up. And I hope you guys like this as much as I did. I really enjoy how this spread turned out. It's super colorful, super fun, and super Halloween-y. Um, if you do like it, make sure you hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe. And thanks so much for watching. Happy planning. Bye.